Juice. Who's got the juice? Okay, this one is going to be a little bit different than my normal juicy treat, as uh, this is talking about a specific game rather than a whole series. Usually for a series I do three games to class it as a juicy treat show topic to talk about, but I'm only going to do this if there's a game that I've played recently that I feel I have to talk about. I had this like back in September when I first started with Bloodborne. Um, I'm going to put a little like image up of it, or a little section of it, but it was like really bad. I was talking for like an hour about Bloodborne. And I was like, no one's gonna want to watch this. Uh, so this is a little show within the Juicy Treat show. So, but because it's the one single game, it is a juicy sweet. Um, and with me, I have special guest King Kiwi. We can thank the lovely Scarf Udu, Scarf Daddy, for this opportunity. I call him Scarf Daddy uh, for this opportunity because he was he wanted to see Joe in more of my videos. And since we played the game together, pretty much, yep. it just felt only right that we did this together. So. Let's begin with a hat in time. A hat in time. A hat in time. A hat in time. A like hat in time. Mafia like hat in time. Mafia enjoy a hat in time. Mafia like hat in time because Mafia don't wear hats. Yeah, quite. Make Ma Mafia think Mafia of hats. Mafia bald. Mafia bald. Mafia don't need ha hair because hair do not pay tax. Hair, <laughs> hair gets in the way of Mafia. Yeah. So Mafia will get rid of hair. Mafia agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for this segment, I thought that since this is the one game, we're gonna. I thought about splitting it like chapter by chapter in terms of experiences. I mean, we could start off actually just saying how we came across the game. I mean, I've always, if they like, I've always wanted to play it, but I didn't actually follow the development of it. I know True. you did. Yeah. Um, I know you just came across it recently, whereas I've been following the development since when the developer Jonas kind of started in like 2012 yeah. or something when it was like an independent pro you know si solo project which he was doing because you showed me the clip of like them with yeah. the boxes and stuff and then i played the game i was like it's a segment show yeah yeah <laughs> was so that was really, that was really cool i mean that was that was a more recent one but like back when he was prototyping it as just like a, a portfolio piece mm -hmm. to get himself hired for jobs or whatever um so i've been following it since then so it's kind of Nice. Five, even, five years later. Yeah, because when I like got the game, uh, thanks to brother Jim, I was just like, oh, I'm gonna like start playing it, and I was gonna play it in my room just casually. And you were like, no, I have to see this game. You will play it in the living room. And I was like, okay, I'm going to play it in the living room. Yeah, and I hadn't said I'd, I'd only been following the PC, the PC side of it, so seeing the console port of it was. Interesting. Oh yeah, that's true. Interesting, uh, I mean... <laughs> yeah, the port we played was the PlayStation, because, you know, PlayStation for life. Boy! Supporting my PlayStation boys! Um, but, <laughs> but I know you didn't, like, fully get along. I mean, I mean... I was bothered by the 30 frames per second, especially since up until that point. I mean, okay, the game looks great, and it's Unreal Engine 3 and all that other kind of stuff, but... Maybe I kind of, I kind of just expected it to run at 60, mm. based on like the art style and everything, um, and I was spoiled by the performance on the PC version as well, which um, runs pretty solid on most hardware to be honest. Yeah, um, yeah, but it still looked really nice. Like I just played it yeah. and I was just like, oh my god, it's so colourful and happy and cute. And there's the mafia guy, and you have to pay a tax toll, <laughs> and then he basically just screws everything up. And then you were just there like. <laughs> no, 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 the frame, yeah, I came in like an absolute snob, but this is a good game. It's a good game. It's a good game. So let's start with chapter one, Mafia Town. Yes. Oh my god, this was such a great intro. Yeah, say it, it, it. it was a really good introduction to it because, um, as we will discuss later, chapter one is very much. It's quite similar to other kind of collectathon 3D platformer sort of things, uh, traversal games, those kind of things, um, in that it's singular focused objectives. That you yeah. Through. And as, as you go through the different missions with the different objectives, uh, the game world in which you're playing in changes somewhat, so it's kind of a bit dynamic. Like you had the, the one where it was raining, yep. uh, then there was the one where it was filled up with lava and yep. everything. Um, and then you know there's like a couple races and explore there's, there's that race and then there's the more explore, exploration based one. Um, well, there's one thing I found because like with this world when I played it, uh, like I did so it was like the first so I think it was three levels and then you get the boss mm. and after so I when I because I played it first and then you took over and finished it way before I did. Um, but when I like first started playing it, 
I did the boss, I thought that was the end for the world. I was like, oh, okay, brilliant, right, on to world two. And then it wasn't then until you played it, and then you went back into the world, and we were like, oh my god, we're not done, we're not done. Yeah. And then I felt bad, because I was like, I like finishing things before I move on. And then I was just like, oh no, I've got to stop with this world, I'm going to go back into Mafia Town and do those levels. It, it was kind of a bit funny, because you had, you had those first two levels. You had the one, the very first level, where mm -hmm. you, you meet Mustache Girl. Um, and you get the umbrella. Yes. As well, which is your main weapon mm -hmm. in the game. And then the second level is second Barrel Battle, isn't it? That's yeah, Barrel Battle. Which is kind of a bit of a mini boss. Um, it's pretty fun. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I mean, it's, your, it's your first introduction to a boss. It's not very challenging, but it's. Um, oh my god, the cutscene beforehand is really funny. Oh my god, it's <laughs> Um There's so much, like, the Mafia are just amazing. Just... Mafia is my favourite character, it's probably. I mean, we do um, quote them, like, an awful lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, Ma Mafia will agree. Mafia says that we like to quote Mafia because Mafia is smart. <laughs> it's a you just, you, be smart you just need, you mafia. Just need the clip of the Mafia punch seagull with child thing now. <laughs> that's, that, that gets me every time. The, pun, wait, the punch seagull with child thing? Yeah, but Mafia, it's like Mafia punch seagull. Seagull say, no, do not punch, I have child. Mafia punch seagull with child. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. I forgot about the, that The one. Mafia, they're like, I mean, the goons, the baddies, mm. right? But they're, they're just lovable. They like dance around and they they got funny voices. And then you play like the hand thing with them and yeah, then they punch them in the face. They trip you over. Like, Which it, at first made me scream. I was like, what? And then they like, <laughs> <laughs> Because yeah. they caught me off guard. And then I forgot that one of them trips you up yeah, when it's you run like, by. Yeah, like three of them, which if you run past, they trip you over. Um, like the Mafia, they're just really, they're just really fun. But yeah, you got the boss like four level. You you got the bosses like the fourth level, and at that point you don't have any other levels after you've done that one. The second act unlocks, which yeah. is Battle of the Birds. But you obviously you can go back and there's more there's more uh, levels in uh, Mafia Town. But the levels that kind of come after that boss, they're kind of just more exploration based. They're very chill. Um, very except chill. that lava one. That lava one is not chill. Oh that my is, god. That is searing hot. There Do was... not touch that stuff. <laughs> Do not touch that lava for it is searing hot. To quote from King Huey. Oh, Mafia will agree. Mafia will think Mafia that lava is hot. So Mafia wanted to put in soup. Uh, more. Yes. More. Too hot for Mafia to eat. <laughs> Bird mouth. <laughs> but then, like, with that lava level, there were so many times like when I jumped and then I kept on like just missing the taps because you have to like turn the taps in order to. Bait. Like was it just to cool the lava down, wasn't it? Basically, the whole the whole of Mafia Town is on a is on a is on a geyser, right? And there's lava off in the distance, and for some reason they got taps, and these taps, they they're like tap, tapping into the Yay! geyser and pu pumping out water or whatever. And some idiot, I imagine it was Mustache Girl actually sabotaging the Mafia, but it was, she plugged it into the lava instead. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's it's a hat in time, I think, kind of discussing the logistics and physics of that game world is kind of <laughs> defeating the point, to be honest. Yeah, um, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, I can't think of any more experiences we've had with Matthew. Can you think of anything? Uh, it's just a really good level Very to, good own, to open up on. Um, and actually, it's. It, I would say after that, it's, it's, it's the best introduction because after that level, you're just like, it, after that level, everything else is just not what you would expect from a kind of 3D platformer. Yes, I'm very excited to talk um, about the next chapter. To put it like, to, to, to really sum it up really quickly, mm -hmm. Mafia Town is... It's Mario Sunshine. Yeah. And then all the other chapters are just they're doing their own thing, honestly. Um, I, it's got a bit... It, it's, it's just really interesting. So we'll move on to the next one. The next chapter! Yeah. Uh, which is Battle of the Birds. Battle of the Birds! Oh my god, this is the best chapter in the whole freaking game. Battle of the, bo the Birds. Battle of the Birds. Murder of the Birds. Oh wait, like, when I, when I first played Battle of the Birds, seeing them both in the studio meeting, because uh, the premise of it is that you're in a movie studio and you've got the conductor and you've got DJ Grooves, both two opposing birds, like one's a penguin, one's an owl. Supposedly, a, a penguin from the moon. A penguin, a penguin from the moon, which yeah. we only discovered later on. Yeah, and then true. we were like, "How did we miss this?" Because yeah. the game makes it obvious, but you just don't realize it. You just look up in one level and go, "Oh wait, 
Uh, I'm, not on, I'm not on Earth. <laughs> I'm, I'm hey in, guys. I'm in space. I'm jumping a bit higher than usual. That makes sense. I, I only noticed it on my second playthrough of that level. You did, yeah, because yeah. then you told me, and I was like, oh my god, how did you do this? <laughs> just like, yeah, just look up. <laughs> and I looked up, and I was like, ooh. And then that explains <laughs> the aliens in the world as well. Yeah. Uh, but, oh yeah, no, but you've got the two birds who have always wanted to create their own film, and they are competing against each other for the awards. and. What you've got to do is you've got to basically aid one of them in winning. Um, I aided the conductor. I helped DJ Grooves. Um, but yeah, the reason I because it was so hard at first because I did it first and yeah because I beat this chapter first and when I realized like you don't realize until you go on finale that you're like sort of aiding them. Oh, well, I didn't anyway. And then it was like this means that <laughs> we'll win. Um, do you want to proceed with this? Um, at first, for me, it was DJ Grooves, and I love DJ Grooves. He is my, <laughs> he is my darling. He is my darling. darling. And um, but then I got all like serious about it, and I was like, well, the conductor had more like production in his films and more like excitement, and I just kind of preferred his missions all in all. I'm not saying that DJ Grooves was like I didn't enjoy. I love DJ Grooves' levels as well, but. The conductor's ones were just bloody fantastic. Uh, so then I had to keep on playing the conductor over and over and over again um, to keep make sure that he got more points, and which took me it took us actually a while because even you helped out with that. I did, yeah. Um, with the t train rush. The train rush. Right. Um, yeah. I, the, the structure of the second act is really interesting because you have the beginning level, which is actually kind of it's a. I would say that level's got more in common with the Sly game, Sly, Sly 1, mm -hmm. that first level, because it's, yeah. it's a stealth section, it's very linear with, you know, slight split paths to explore, um, but it's pretty simple, it's a fun, it's a really fun level, Yeah. Um, and you actually get a lot of characterization that way, because you're kind of walking through this movie, movie set, and you're walking past, like, DJ Grooves and the conductor as they're, like, directing and all that kind of yeah. stuff, so you get a sense of their character and all that kind of stuff, which is really... You know, they didn't have to do that, but it's nice that they did. And there's 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 loads of little great touches, like you know the whole that they're, they're, as you're going through the level, you're breaking stuff, so you're getting a kind of like uh, a bill notice. The first time like, you realise that is when there are like sunglasses, and I love that like you can put on just sunglasses. Then if you click it again, you get two sunglasses, and then you're like, oh, go on, I'll do it one more time. Then just completely blows up. Yeah. <laughs> then you get the bill, and that was when I was like. Oh yeah, you, you got some great ones like you got you obviously got trespassing and vandalism, but you've also got owl and penguin harassment. Yeah. Uh, uh, ca right. Cactus assault. Yep. Cap uh, what was it? It was uh, not TPKO. TP. That was the one I was. I was gonna say tapas. Tapas. <laughs> so I was like, it's not tapas. <laughs> it's not tapas at all. Um, but it's it's a really good level. Um, that's gonna kind of be a bit of a trend. Uh, well, with the rest of this throughout the video, I feel that honestly, all the levels are just really great. But following on from that, it splits off with two other levels. You've got one for DJ Grooves, which is a really nice mm -hmm. kind of open, open level kind of one. Where yeah, what well, the diva one? Where, yeah, where you have to build up a kind of fan club. That one's really nice. Fantastic music. Yes, the music's so oh good. Goodness, I was listening like, to it for a week after I played it. I, uh, for those who don't, for those who know me and don't know this, I, I drum, and there is a, in the game you can unlock remixes of tracks, uh, for music tracks, and there's a remix of Picture Perfect, which is the level we're talking about, yeah. the remix of that is a jazz remix, it's and so good. I am drumming that almost endlessly because it's just so nice and I love a bit of jazz. Um, See, I'm more about the electro swing from Trainwreck, that's uh, my favourite remix, one, remix. it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, opposite to Picture Perfect, you have one of the best levels in a 3D platformer. The murder! The murder on the Owl, Owl Express. Express! There's a murder on my Owl Express! Who done it? Who done it? Also, for those who don't know, the conductor is voiced by the same guy who does the announcements in Super Smash Bros. 4. Which is amazing, because we didn't pick Xander up... Xander Mobius or whatever? Xander Mobius or something? I can't remember. Something like that, but, um... But when we found out, we were just, like, listening to his voice again, it's like, oh my god, like, you've gone from, like, 
Super Smash Brothers, and now it's like a murder. Yeah, yeah the Scottish owl. It's brilliant. A Scottish owl who doesn't look like an owl really. It looks like a crocodile. It looks like a crocodile. Yeah, like a crocodile with lots of hair. But Murder on the Owl Express, honestly, is a level. I feel like we shouldn't talk too much about it because it's it's one of those levels that honestly it is just so much better experiencing it. Mm. Um, so if you. It, it, it's a parody of Murder on the Orient Express, obviously, oh, cool. and um, there's a murder, and you have to don uh, Sherlock Holmes detective cap kind of thing, <laughs> yeah. and find loads of evidence, and there's some stealth in there. And you've got a guy on the phone who's like saying, you better have got a certain amount of time. And yeah, it's, pretty much. Yeah, and, and it's, then there are loads of crows around. Not going to really spoil it. I don't, I don't really want to talk too much about them. The crows you, the way are you, the best. The way you interact with them is just amazing, honestly. Um, the characterization in that entire level, honestly. That level, like, if you're going to play any level, make it that one. And I genuinely feel as though that level made the whole experience worth it. It did. Well, I mean, even when, like, when I first booted it up, because you'd seen reviews of things of the game, I think just before. And then when we saw that this was Murder on the Owl Express, you just went, Rosie, play this level! And I was like, oh, what? it looks really cool. And you were like, no, play this level, you <laughs> love it! And it is just amazing. And the crows, we were always quoting the crows and the conductor, to be fair. Yeah. Like, if we have an R pronounced, we just go, go <laughs> nowadays. Um, it's also a really well-constructed level as well, because I, um, I feel as though for speedrunning, this is a really great game for speedrunning. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm kind of segueing into talking about the, mood, the, the controls here a little bit. Oh. Um, but <laughs> the level design, the design of this level in particular, is really built for a speedrun. I think the fastest I've beat that level is about just under three minutes. What, for the murder one? Yeah. Because there's, there's, there's a skip really early on. Yeah. Um, where you jump onto something, and then you jump over here, and you press a button, and then the thing opens up, and you get to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've shown you that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to show you that one, because, spoilers, and you should you play it yourself. And also, because I got the footage for this screen over here, and I didn't do that speedrun strat, so I haven't got it to show you anyway. <laughs> I'm the speedrunner here. Yeah, you're the speedrunner here, I pretty am. much. Yeah. I mean, um, it's fun to try and do, but I will never be able to do it. It's, it's just so much fun. Um, <laughs> it's just, I'm just... Uh, speaking of fun, the move set. It's super simple. You've got a double jump, you've got a jump, double jump, uh, which gives you loads of air control. Yep. You have a dive, very similar to Sunshine, except you can dive cancel as well, which gives you, which kind of lets you go into another jump. Kind of a bit of a triple jump, really. Yeah. Um, uh, there's also wall running and wall jumping as well. Um, and you can also bounce on enemies as well, I guess that yeah. counts. Um, uh, you can like, yeah, jump and then attack them and then go up again and then attack someone else. You also get, there's a bunch of hats you get. I, I'd say the most important one in terms of like affecting your movement would be the grappling hook badge. Well, that's a badge rather than a hat. Yeah, but like, it goes into the same thing. Okay. Semantics. <laughs> um, but that kind of affects your, your movement as well. But it's a really simple moveset, but when chained together, can, it works. Uh, it works. So it well. works super well. It's one of those really simple, really easy to understand, but there's there's a level of complexity that works in conjunction with the really good level design that allows for some really cool, complex moves that allow you to just do some really gnarly stuff. I mean, honestly, watch a speed like if you know this game, watch a speedrun of this game because it's honestly insane. Yeah. The amount of skips people have found just using the move set that is here, a really simple move set as well. Um, the number of skips people have found is, is really, really it, new. Yeah, it's like, what's to say it's like, it's easy to get, but hard to master. Yeah, easy to learn. Pretty much, yeah, easy, master. that's the one, yeah. So it's pretty much like, you feel like that. Because I mean, when I first played this game, I was, you used to laugh at me for my platforming skills, it wasn't the best. But then once I got used to it, then I was all like, and diving from like, tree to tree and stuff, yeah. and it was all great. Um, oh, but another great thing about chapter two before we go into chapter three mm. is, the costume when you're in the big parade. <laughs> big parade, it's yeah. The bloody best. That costume is amazing, and it makes me yeah, so happy. Uh, that level as well is quite fun. It's, it's quite fun. fun. It's um, I'd probably say it's the weakest out of. It's the weakest one, but actually, it's the hardest one. Yeah. It's the hardest level in that chapter, um, in terms of like challenge and whatnot. It's really testing your kind of 
your aware your like um, Aw- yeah. awareness but also your platforming ability there yeah. as well because obviously you've got the, the owls who are following you and you have to make sure that they don't catch up because they hurt you and fling you around. Yeah so if you're just like panicking about stopping or going in circles yeah. they're going to catch up and they're like not thin owls they're like normal size. Big, big chunk of oh, Big chunk of boys. Big chunk of boys. Big chunk of boys. And then the boss as well because I did the conductor and you did yeah. DJ Groove. Throughout, as, as you mentioned earlier, mm-hmm. Liz, uh, as you play <laughs> different levels, you get scored on your performance. And whoever level, and depending on whose levels you complete, it gives them score. And whoever wins, it affects the outcome of the, mm. of the chapter. Uh, it's really cool. Um, obviously you went with the conductor, DJ Grooves. Just so. warning as well though, because when you pick one and you've done the award ceremony, you can't go back because I wanted to try and do DJ Grooves as well because I love him and I wanted him to win as well, but it the was- decision is final. It is final. I had the conductor throughout and then, oh no, uh, no, something else I just remembered. When I first played this, I don't want to spoil it though, but the plot twist, because I was just about to go to bed. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Yeah, the plot twist! <laughs> no, because I was literally just about to go to bed and I was like, no, I'll do the award ceremony in the last level, it'll be great. And then there's a plot twist and I stayed up for like another half an hour. It was just... something like another half an hour. But it was so exciting because it was like, oh my god! And then I was so satisfied <laughs> with the outcome and then you had like the final boss and that was awesome. And I love it when you like sit it, at the it, table. Such a good... Such a good chapter. Such a good chapter. Yeah, um, and now we move on to chapter three. Uh, Subcon Forest. Yes! AKA the Forest of Luke. Yeah. <laughs> Your boy. Your boy. Luke. Youngtown is freaking amazing in chapter three. It makes yeah. me so happy every time I see him. You kept on cutting his cutscenes. No, I only did that for speedruns. Oh. I had already seen the cutscenes. Oh, fair okay. enough. You why. just kept on going. No, I wasn't skipping him. <laughs> I never knew that. I watched, I, on, I watched them every single time and I always smile because he just does such an amazing performance. And Honestly, I'm going to seg- use that as a segue, but big props to all the voice acting. Yes. I, I, when I first went in, I wasn't really feeling the voice acting because, you know, usually it's either just plain text or it's um, mumbles like in classic rare kind of platformers. But honestly, the VA is pretty good. Oh, it's and, so good in this. Um, I have particular big props to um, the conductor, DJ Grooves, the Mafia. The Crows. The Crows and um, the Snatcher, yes. who Luke plays. Oh my goodness. Luke absolutely kills it. Oh, he it's, does. It's, he it's, absolutely it's really kills impressive. It. It's really good. I didn't even call the Snatcher the Snatcher. I called him Luke. Yeah. He was just, <laughs> every time he was like, hi, Luke. <laughs> and then it just made me happy. Because, uh, I mean, Luke's just the babe anyway. Oh, yeah. uh, so to see him, like, just take the stage as this main character, and especially for his role, he had so much fun with it. You can definitely tell. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. And then that just makes you enjoy the character just mm. 10 times more. Yeah, uh, you, you, you enjoy something. You can enjoy it when you when you can tell when the actor portraying that is into the role as well. Yeah, it just it makes the it makes it even more enjoyable. Um, the level as a whole, the chapter as a whole, it, it changes up direction again. Mm-hmm. It gives you a big open. It gives you a big open kind of world to explore um, with. Four, four distinct areas. One technically doesn't really count because it's more of like a, a segue into another kind of chapter. That's, yeah. That's Vanessa's one. Mm-hmm. Um, so go with three. It has uh, three distinct areas that you kind of unlock through exploration, not through main and mission objectives. No, it's not actually, no. Yeah. I mean, because as far except, as. Except the first one, the first fire spirits. Well, yeah, well, that's, that's just... mandatory. And yeah. then there's another two fire spirits you have to find to unlock other sections. Was it two or three? Two. Ah. Uh, three in total. Oh, um, okay. But as you go through the level, you encounter Luke, and he's like, yada yada yada. Let's sign a contract! Sign a contract! Don't worry about the details! Yeah, do this! You don't really have a say in this! Yeah. Uh, and the contracts themselves are great. The contracts are really fun. Like, there's the small the, details in them. Yeah, reading them is, is fun. But then the, contra- the levels themselves, uh, the contracts are basically an excuse to give you an objective and uh, mm-hmm. an act to follow. Um, but the levels that follow on from that themselves are really quite fun. I, I would say the first two are the weakest. You've got contractual obligations, 
which is the one we have to take out the fire spirits. I yeah, I quite like that one. I think mean, that one's okay. I, it, I mean, it gets it's, you it's used good. to the area. It's good. It gets you exploring the area. You get mm. used to the characters, and then there's the subcon well, which gives you a necessary upgrade, which yes. is the grappling hook. That one's fun. But it's, it's super short. Super yeah, short. Um, super short. It's mainly there just to get you the grappling hook and then when you've it's done it. It's short but sweet. Yeah. yeah. Um, but oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I know where we're going to go. The two after that. So we'll, we'll go with the lighter of the two. You have, okay. you have a little boss. Uh, Toilet of Doom, <laughs> that's all I'm going to really talk about it. But it's a really fun boss battle. The mechanics you learn from it, the, you, they actually come into play in the finale boss yes. battle as well. Which is also great. Which is also a also fantastic, a fantastic boss. boss. Probably the best boss in the game. Mm, I would say. I mean, yeah. the final boss is pretty good. I'd, no, I'd agree with that. I'd probably say that... It's just really fun. It's really yeah. challenging. There's a satisfying challenge. And there's, there's loads of characters. It's great. And there's... But, so you got the toilet of doom, which made me laugh either way, just because suddenly you're just walking around and suddenly there's just a, a toilet of doom, and then you just find. And it's a sinister building as well. It's, like, yeah, like, they're building up this toilet as literally being the doom bringer here. <laughs> um, it's like the new doom. Just put a picture of the toilet on the cover. Doom five. Doom no, five. Doom number two. Do hey, doom number twos. <laughs> Actually, I should just call it deuce two. Deuce two. Why yeah. deuce? You don't want to... Never mind. No. I hope you understand. Um, I don't want to do this. <laughs> uh, and then. Yes. Not going to spoil this one too much because, again, like Murder on the Alex Brats, this is one that you need to experience. There's and this one... is one that Joe also said because I was playing the game and then you went, you can't, I couldn't play it without him being in the same room. You were like, you can't play, I have to see your reaction to this. Because I, I played it first. Yes. Oh, and this is when you took over. Yeah, after this, this two. is when I, I sped on ahead. Um, Queen Vanessa's Manor is so surprising. It's Such a 180 in design. And it's really well executed. It is again something. It completely catches your guard. I was like, oh, yeah. I screamed at you because I was so surprised. And when you're surprised, it makes it the experience more what it was probably intended to be. Let's yeah. say because you're just you're in a mix of emotions. You're surprised, and you're like, what is this? And then you're and then it's like, ah! it's, just, it's just amazing. Yeah. Uh, and it's also like this backstory behind it yeah. as well. Yeah, each chat, each. Uh, Acts, chapter, uh, yeah, cha yeah. Each chapter has uh, time rifts, and there's a particular time rift for four of them. Yeah, it's a purple one, and you can find these little optional kind of storybooks. Which yeah. are very sweet and lovely. They're nice. They're nice. Yeah, and then again, time rifts, optional little levels. You do them, they're really fun, they're good, do them. Thin. Yes. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> well, yeah, not that much more to say about the time rifts, so... Yeah, they're just fun little platforming challenges. Um, and the fun. music's lovely. The music's really nice. Now, chapter four! Chapter four. Alpine Skylines is probably the one with the less character in it. Least, yeah. Yeah, least, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, brilliant platforming. Like, you have... Well, I had so much fun just going and exploring the area, and it's completely different because you go into it and it's free roam. Like, yeah. rather... I, I think about each... The chapter has different mission form lay like mission layouts, but this is one where you free roam and then you find the chapters and the missions yourselves. But they're pretty easy because there are like four sections in it. Mm. Um, yeah. I, I, returning to the character thing, I think the main reason why is because each other chapter that's come before it has a, has had a defining character of that yeah. character that really adds to it. This one is kind of missing it a bit it, because it is just kind of you've got you've got these random villages. And then you've got these things called goats, which are these, they're not, they're not tiny goats, they're these massive. These weird creatures they're called massive goats. They're massive goats, they're massive goats, they're massive, and they, they hit you if you get in the way of them. Uh, they Their designs are them. lovely, like, like... Like, everything about it is really nice. It's a charming design, but it's really missing any kind of sense of, like, personality beyond yeah. just kind of like, I am a, tr I am a tourist in this place. <laughs> I, I, do not un, I do not understand any of you, but I'm going to mess around in your culture, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, then you've got those bastard cats and crows that push you... Like, the cats that go invisible are just oh. a pain. <laughs> um, like Hopefully they, they only crop up, like, twice. Yeah, like, they only crop up when they so do, annoying. you're just like... Ugh. And so then annoying. I had a problem in the birdhouse and the crows with the glasses and, like, the... They kept on pushing... The mullet! They kept on pushing me off! 
And like, and then they got really annoying, and then I was just like, you stupid crows! <laughs> I was attacking them with my umbrella. Yeah, Alpine Skyline, it's, it's still strong. It's missing, again, it's missing a lot of the character, but as a platforming level, and, um, you know, the levels, that, the challenges that you end up doing in that level, they're really fun. And I like the fact that they experimented a bit with the kind of formula of it. Um, I know one person complained about the length of time it takes to travel from one section to another, but I'm not. I I feel like that's perhaps a bit more subjective. Yeah. Um, I agree. Maybe there will possibly a way to speed it up, like you know, combine the sprint cap with it. But yeah. I don't know. It's it's it, it's short enough that it doesn't bother me. Yeah, personally. it's short enough. You have a fun time with it, and when you're done, you're content, and then you're ready. For the finale. The finale, the which is a single level, and it's it's a gauntlet. It's a linear gauntlet, and a boss. Yes, uh, and it's the boss is so colourful, and it's so kind of like heartwarming, um, in a really weird way. Um, and you're just fighting it, and the boss itself is fun. It's not hard, or it's not really difficult. No, I would say the Snatcher boss is more Yeah, the, the Snatcher boss was definitely the one I had the most difficulties with. Um, but I mean, like, it looks gorgeous. Uh, you... I particularly like how, actually, with the Snatcher Boss and this Finale Boss, mm -hmm. uh, they both kind of play around with um, the fourth wall a little bit. Yeah. Um, and your understanding of how the game kind of works. Um, so that's really nice. That's a kind of neat touch. I know some people would be like, oh my god, that's Undertale. Like, this is just like Undertale! <laughs> Everything's just like Undertale. I will need to start. <laughs> Please. Thank you. No. Muffy will never stop. Muffy will think you'll need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Muffy will think you're annoying, so Muffy will think you'll switch Muffy or Punch Girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the finale, like, and then when you've done it, and then you have the ending cutscene. Ending it's, cutscene nice. it's so nice. And so well animated. Yes. Big props to the animators. Honestly, like, big props to just everyone who's worked in it. Because the 2D, the 3D, the animation, the music, everything about this fucking game is brilliant. Yes, brilliant. <laughs> and it's like, and, and it's just, and the voice acting, because, oh, we didn't mention DJ Grooves when you kill him, potentially. Oh, you don't kill him, he comes back. But he comes back, but he comes back. When you beat him, when you beat him, he screams, just like, I hate you, darling! <laughs> I hate you, darling! And it's one of like, this is the best thing ever. Oh, there's the whole peck neck swearing thing on the moon. Oh my well. god, yeah, peck neck. Uh, just... And uh, you, you go for a promotion and you, you're just like, you're on a cooking show. And uh, there's, there's a nice little reference to uh, Ramsey, boy, Gordon, Gordon Ramsey. Um, <laughs> and you have the choice to say four different things, but one of them is peck. <laughs> and it's just brilliant, it's just so funny. Pick peck when you get to the, when you find the section that we're all about. Pick peck and it's amazing. Yeah, it's really exciting. Um, and also DJ Goose had me saying darling again at work all I week. Work. Obsessed. Absolutely like every obsessed. time I come to go, and you look fabulous, darling, and just stuff like my, that. My, I mean, my obsessions right now are the crows and the mafia. Yeah. I particularly like the crows because it's like, oh, oh, hello, oh, hello, fellow, hello, fellow, fellow viewer. I see you are watching our YouTube show. <laughs> Did you know, fellow YouTube content creators, we love to share each other's secrets. So tell me, how much revenue do you have? <laughs> per month? <laughs> <laughs> how many videos have you had which have been copyrighted? Uh, thank you for agreeing to the terms and conditions. <laughs> <laughs> On the back of the board. <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh, but I don't have any more experiences to share with Hat in Time. I mean, overall, it's it's a, it's a really good game. I, Definitely. Very satisfying. I had the kind of fortune slash misfortune of playing Odyssey beforehand, and unfortunately I wasn't a big fan of Odyssey. So Hat in Time kind of filled that hole. The void, yeah. The void, and did it so, so damn well. I, I feel like, um, as, as far as a negative goes, I wish there was more. I wish, yeah. I really wish there was I more. I will play it, at the it, moment to get all the tokens yeah. so I can buy everything from the gambling machine. Yeah. And there's, there's only. We want more. Yeah, there's only 40 time pieces in total, and it took me like 10, 10 or 10 to 12 hours, which is it's a good amount. But I feel like they, I feel like there could have been a bit more. Yeah. Um, it, it kind of feels like after Alpine Skyline, Alpine Skyline, it kind of feels like it it halts a little bit, like it skids. Um. um and I feel like if there was another level after Alpine Skyline, just to, to act as kind of just to, to bulk it out a little bit, 
That would be nice. Yes. Saying that though, two free chapters are coming out later this yeah. year. Two whole chapters coming out for free. Uh, and if you have the PC version as well, you have the entire modding scene. Yes. As well. People are releasing custom hats, custom models, custom maps, like whole new chapters for the game we're getting released for free. Which is why it's PC really version. sad. Like, I, like, obviously I'm very happy that I've got it on PS4, but if you're going to get this game, get the PC yeah, version, because then you get yeah. everything in the whole package. You get split screen multiplayer. You do, yeah. And hopefully they're going to move all this stuff to the console yeah. version. I'm really, 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 it probably yeah. won't be like ages. I, I, really I, hope that, that's do. another thing. Uh, the console version, there's kind of a few like graphical glitches. Obviously runs at 30 frames per <laughs> yeah, second. Yeah. <laughs> But there is a few like glitches here and there. We noticed it when the mafia are meant to be holding a uh, holding a sign, and it's not there. They're like dancing like that, but the sign's on their backs. <laughs> yeah, it's like behind them. It's really it's really strange. Um, you know, but uh, if you're gonna get the game, get it on PC. Yes. And actually, as of recording it right now, it's on sale on Humble Bundle for oh. eighteen pounds. This so is what I uploaded. It's no longer on sale. I yeah, I kind of wish I didn't say that. <laughs> 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 but great game, we've both completed it 100%. We 100%, both, yeah. yeah, 100%. We want more of it. We wish there was more. Uh, but we, and we want merch. We're, we're getting more we're later getting this more. year, which is amazing. We're getting two new chapters, yes. uh, multiplayer modes, and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, PC version, PC modding, all that kind of stuff. Uh, quick note. I got her all the trophies. No, that was, it was my work. To be fair, that I wasn't did everything. fair. No, that was not fair. <laughs> I got her the platinum. It was my account, and then you just well, threw it threw up. I was going to get the work. final trophy, I didn't and work. then I was at work while you were being lazy, Mr. Uni Student. <laughs> I'm not being lazy. It's bit of work. It's being a Uni Student. You stole my trophies. <laughs> Whatever. At least I got a platinum trophy. Now. I did all the heavy lifting. I was gonna. I literally. I woke up one morning and I was gonna, like, "Oh, I'm gonna get all those final trophies." So I was like, you know, sat here and I threw it up. <laughs> Trophy information, 100 percent, and I got the platinum. <laughs> you did it all in a night. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> I think I got platinum now, and I've pretty much just. You pretty. I mean, to be honest, you pretty much done all the trophies. <laughs> really. um, so yeah, hat time. Get it is. My verdict. <laughs> yes, get it and have a lot of fun with it because it's great and we want more people to play it yeah. and give it love. Yes, absolutely. And also, thank you for being a guest on my show. I hope you. Not alright. No, okay, he go now. He's holding me at gunpoint below the frame. Uh... <laughs> uh, but I hope you've enjoyed your time here on the Juicy Treat Show. Yeah. If people like you, I'm, if people hate you, then I'm never going to see your face. If people hate me, subscribe to me on Twitch. If people love me, subscribe <laughs> to me on Twitch. Either way, subscribe to him on Twitch. What was it? King Kiwi. King Kiwi. King Kiwi. Subscribe uh, to follow him. me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Flickr, Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> and all that jazz. I crave attention. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to express himself. Um, but I will see you all in the next video, which will be soon. Bye bye. <laughs> that was a really weird ending. Next video, which will be soon. Soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. It was great. Farewell, ah. fellow viewers. <laughs> Farewell, fellow viewers. <laughs> I hope to see you soon on the Professor Chip Show. Ah, hello, fellow professor. Ah, hello. I am, fellow I am, I am doing a complicated scientific equation. <laughs> Can you help me understand it? What is the meaning of the juice? <laughs> Who's got the juice? Ah, thank you. So. <laughs> As to juice, <laughs> it is also clear. <laughs> Amazing, I love it. Okay, wicked. We're good.